It, oh my word, look at the whistler on that thing. Look at that buck. We're gonna go ahead and look for him. Check that out. Adventure, with all of its danger, Wildness is a deeply spiritual longing written into the soul of man. The masculine heart, a place where nothing is prefabricated, modular, ziplock, franchised, online, microwavable, where there are no deadlines, cell phones, or committee meetings, where there is room for the soul. Finally, a place where the geography around us corresponds with the geography within our hearts. In the heart of every man is a desperate desire for a battle to fight, an adventure to live, and a beauty to rescue. Wild at heart, John Eldridge. This elk hunt has been a long time coming. I started collecting points soon after I was out of high school and um, the time drew near and I knew I wanted to do an archery elk hunt. There's just something special about elk bugling in the fall and just getting in close to them and um, the adventure is just amazing. So I knew of two people that I thought could go with me. The one guy, he did the Appalachian Trail this summer. The other guy has been elk hunting for a long time. While we're in Colorado hunting elk, um, this is our third day out. We're kind of um, doing some speed scouting and slash hunting. Um, we've covered three different areas in our unit just trying to find elk. And we scouted three different areas and we found elk in all three different areas. Um, the area that we're into right now seems about the best. We're seeing elk here. We have really good grass, and we even found some wallows here. So the hunting pressure here is fairly minimal. We're back in pretty far, so that helps. We're at pretty high elevation. We found that most of the elk are pretty high. Um, yeah, we're excited to see what happens this hunt. We've got the whole month to hunt. Um, there's a chance we might be able to get something here earlier on, but if not, we're hoping to get into to some bugling bulls here in a few weeks. So next week or so, we'll see how it goes. And he's good at calling, and they're both fun guys to have in camp. Both physically, they're fit. I knew I would be able to um, hike hard myself and put my all into it, and I wouldn't have to be waiting on them. Um, so we were a really evenly matched team. That was great. I did my best to do my homework. I picked out several locations that I figured there should be elk. And when the day came that we got out there, what we did is we just speed scouted. We went to actually like five different locations and we found elk in every one of those locations. Um, every place had what the elk needed. Um, they all had feed, water, and good bedding. That's what they need. We spent a few days fishing then, and then we were back up into the mountains and got supper. <laughs> That's supper. Great size right there, boys. Fit right in front, man. Well, we were heading back up on top. We had scattered a decent five by five that we're going to go after in the morning. 
and we're driving up and I happen to notice some elk up on the hillside and the one looks like a really nice 6x6 six six, so we might change our plan now for what we're going to do. He's a really nice bull so we weren't really seeing anything real big so we were thinking boy this five back might look pretty good and we knew there were bigger bulls in the area and we finally got eyes on one so this hunt might turn out to be a little bit extended. The last place we got to, then it was just absolutely torn up, and we knew there would be big bulls in the area. The one struggle we had was we knew this was a good unit, and one side of me wanted to shoot like that huge trophy class bull that I knew existed in that area. The other side of me was kind of the realist, and I was like, I've never gotten a, uh, an elk with my bow, and I really want to shoot an elk with yeah. my bow. So, and I also back knew back. A, the majority of people that go on these hunts come back without an elk. And I was like, if I'm doing this hunt, I want to kill an elk. We were getting into action with call on bulls. It was really great. Um, and they weren't really responding yet. They would bugle back, but they would work away from Chase that herd up here above Timberline. They kind of kicked my butt. I had the bull probably at 50 yards, so I just couldn't get a shot. It was too thick. I took the aggressive approach and I had the wind in my favor so I just still hunted through the timber listening to an elk that was just bugling real softly to his cows and I managed to get right in on the herd and a cow that was a little closer jumped and kind of ran off and I ended up having a nice bull stand up in front of me. I didn't know what he was when I shot him, I just knew that judging by how far the rack stuck off his off of his head I knew he wasn't a raghorn and this was the point where I was like here's my opportunity to get an elk and come home with an elk with my first archery elk <coughs> sure it was the ball had just 
make sure the range was actually 45 yards. And I ranged it, I ranged it, and I was like, yep, right on 45. There was a tree, it was through the shore, and then a tree, and I had like one foot in between his leg and the tree, and I placed it perfect. Oh, yes, thank God. See this tree right here? I shot like basically through this tree just on the left hand side of it. He was just on the other side of the tree. He was close enough to the other side of the tree that I don't think my arrow was deflected at all. Look at that. Another bull died right here. That's insane. Here's my arrow. Oh, oh, oh. oh my word. Stuck in the ground. Painted red shaft. Oh. Oh. That's awesome. Well, I'm gonna go down to him. He went like, yeah, I wish the other guys were here, but they're way down. They're probably a mile from here because I hiked it up the, over up this hillside. Um, I'm gonna go down to him and check him out. He only went like 30 yards piled up. He had no clue what hit him. He is. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's a six by six. Is he really? Hold it. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Yep. Well, I got my bull. I was still hunting through the timber and ended up shooting him. Um, I watched him stand up out of his bed at 45 yards and I was able to sliver the arrow down through some pine trees and hit him right behind the shoulder. So he's down right up in here, um, right off the rim rocks. So, so yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Let's go get him. This is the hillside that I still hunted up through. I had the wind in my favor. Right up in there is where I shot him. It's really awesome here that we got the rim rocks right there. That mountain there is 13.6. That one there's 13.4. I think there's a lake up in there. Over there's like 13.5, so. Right here we're at somewhere just over 12,000 feet of elevation. That's awesome. Well, here he is. I shot him just up the hill there, about 35 yards, and it was a 45 yard shot, and I hit him kind of high, but it did the trick. Um, and I watched him come down the hill about 35 yards and he piled up, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. He's a six by six. My brother said when I left, he's like, he's like, shoot a six by six. And we got a six by six, so I'm happy. So, got a complete pass through. Good old grizzly stick, head and arrow. Shot right through him. A little bit of nicks on the broadhead there, but hardly anything at all. We can resharpen you to use this one. That's awesome. Now the work begins. All right. Well, we're going out of the high country and I have way too much weight. Right? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to take it slow.
Well, we're here packing my my uh, bull out. There's a bull moose over there. There he is. Nice little guy. Uh, he's trying to hide behind the tree. There. Oh, I'm going to stop here so you can see them, hopefully. There he goes. Yeah, you can hear him grunting. That's pretty cool. Camp chef. There we go. Got us an omelet going on. That looks amazing. Uh -huh. After hiking between 10 and 13 miles. Uh, you packed you packed a pretty pretty big load. Better give you a better give you a pretty healthy dose. <laughs> there's for the there's for the the elk slayer. That looks amazing. We morsel here. Wait, is this one mine? That's yours, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. There's nothing like a good meal after a hard hunt. Oh, man, you got that right.